I have officially lived in Utah now for a whole year. Today is June 1st, 2022. I moved into this very apartment one year ago on June 1st, 2021, and I am so stoked. I am going to have such a great day today. However, we are starting that with my money date where I look at my budget and my expenses and everything. And so that's what I'm gonna start with as I'm listening to some fun uplifting music. And then I have some very fun things planned for later today. But first things first, let's get through my money date. So I finished my money date and then I just checked in with work and now it's time to go outside and lay in the sun. But I did just wanna really quickly mention that I have felt so much more like financially in control since I started listening to the Financial Feminist podcast and specifically the one about money dates on how to like approach reviewing your finances and what you made and what you spent and everything every month. Since listening to this lovely little episode right here, you can listen to it no matter your gender, but it is geared towards women and minorities, which I think is really cool. But now that that's done, I get to go be outside and it's just a good day. And I do actually really want to watch my writing vlog from last year when I first moved in at some point today. And I am really looking forward to filming my reaction to that. I'm also gonna be baking a cake with some of my friends to like celebrate that we've lived here for a year, which is really fun. And then I'm like still crossing my fingers that I'm gonna have time to like go for a hike or a walk or something outside. I'm not totally sure what that means yet because I still need to do a little bit more work. I need to finish a Fiverr order and I want to do at least an hour of editing today. So I'm not totally sure how all of this is gonna fit in, but we're gonna try because today is also day one of my June goals as a part of my larger six month goals that run from June to November. So with that, I wanna start really strong. And so let's just keep going. Just got doing about half of a Fiverr order that I have due tonight. And so I will need to finish that up later before it's due. But as of right now, I'm gonna go get ready to go for a little hike with some of my friends. from the hike, I just finished eating dinner and finishing the fiber order. I turned it in with 15 minutes to go and now it's like 9.45. I'm gonna run to the grocery store before it closes to buy some cake ingredients and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna bake a cake, which I think will be really, really fun. I'm kind of frustrated. The grocery store had all of the candles except for the one. I've been here for a year, I wanted the one candle. Got back to my apartment from baking and eating a birthday cake or a funfetti cake with some of my friends that we made in celebration of like me living out in Utah for a year, us living in the same building together for a year, all that fun stuff. I am kind of feeling a sugar rush right now, but I have done one of my two priorities today so far and I wanna do my other one. I did do a 2.7 mile walk with about a thousand feet of elevation gain, which I am very proud of for my hike. I already chose what hiking I'm doing tomorrow, but considering that I have already done my hiking for the day and I have not done any writing and it's 12.45 a.m., let's start on that <laughs> because it would be a really bad sign if I started out my June goals as a part of my larger six-month goals by not writing because writing is the priority. Well, it's not the priority. It's tied with hiking, but writing is one that I can like work towards and see my progress. So I guess with that, I think I'm getting started on chapter 13. JK. Chapter 14, and <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do for this chapter. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's the first day of the month. I need to write, I need to figure this out. That's okay, I can figure this out. Just need to figure it out. Well, 
I just deleted chapter 14, so I guess on to chapter 15. Okay, this was a good one for me to do tonight because at the bottom of my notes of chapter 15, I literally said, overall, a solid chapter that doesn't need much other than just being smoothed out. And I did have a couple things that I needed to tweak, but overall it moved very quickly because in an hour and 40 minutes, I edited 2,385 words, which I'm going to say is a very solid start to my goals of June and finishing draft five that is. So I'm gonna write that down, that this one ended up going up about by 200-ish words, and I get to give it a big old check mark. Nice, it was a very large check mark. But now it is 1.42 in the morning. I still want to set up my habit tracker, although I'm not, I'm honestly not sure if I'll do this until tomorrow because it's very late. And I've been going for a long time today. And I also will probably watch my video from last year tomorrow, just because again, it's 1.40, I should just go to bed. I will use that as a, we'll call it a prolonged celebration by watching that tomorrow. So I guess with that, I've lived in Utah for a year, officially a year, and I'm very happy about that. And I'm very excited about my June goals as a breakdown of my larger six month goals that will end in November. And I'm very excited about finishing draft five of project DE. I'm excited to finish draft six. I'm excited to start sending it out to agents. I know that I've been waiting a really long time for this. I know that you guys have been waiting a really long time for this. And so I'm really just feeling very motivated to just get it done. So hopefully we're gonna continue to ride that energy for a while. And I will try to do that for as long as possible. Today is June 2nd. I'm drinking my smoothie out of my Star Wars mug today. And I woke up far earlier than anticipated because the sun was streaming through a crack in my blinds and directly into my eyes, which kind of gave me a headache, which I still now have. But now it's 11, 15 a.m. I just got off of work. I finished editing a YouTube video before my phone call at 11. That basically wraps up my work week. And so now I'm done with work. I just finished uploading that new video to YouTube, which is great. So now that's up and can be working. I am going for another hike with with one of my friends today and I am excited to get into some editing today as well. I will be making my habit tracker today. I will be re-watching my moving videos from last year because I didn't feel like I had the time to do that yesterday. And so with that, today is going to be another glorious day. After my hike, I went for a dip in the pool, which was absolutely lovely now that the pool is open. But I did that hike a couple weeks ago and it was still really snowy at the top. And so it was really cool to do it again when it was not slushy and scary. So we did about five and a half miles, which was awesome. And now I've been on a phone call with a couple of my writing friends for a couple hours. And I'm only now participating in this writing sprint that we are actively doing. But I just moved chapters 15 and 16 to later chapters, which means that I'm already on to chapter 17. But I don't know if already technically counts if I just moved down those chapters to later on. Also, the lovely human that Kayla Kempers is, is inspiring me to get my book done before September, or at the very least before October, so that I can be querying in late September or like early to mid-October, so that I don't push it into the holidays. And it's a little stressful, honestly, but I think that she can be very helpful to me in actually making sure that I get this done this time instead of just continuing to push out my deadlines even more than I already have for like the last like three years. Might even be four years at this point. Chapter 17 has now been edited and I'm moving into chapter 18. In 
And just like that, chapter 18 has been edited in draft five. Chapter 18 came out to about 790 words. Chapter 17 came out to about 1350. And so that means that I now have hit my 2000 words for the day, which is awesome. It is 12.03 a.m. right now. I think it's time for me to make myself a snack and then rewatch my videos from last year. The title of this video is working on draft four of my book and moving. I can't believe that I was working on draft four a year ago. Huh. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Lebrat. Today's writing vlog is going to be a little bit all over the place because I'm working on draft four or trying to work on draft four of my high fantasy book, which I call Project DE, while also trying to move out of my apartment in Fort Worth, Texas and over to my brand new apartment in Salt Lake City, Utah. I remember how echoey this apartment was when there was absolutely nothing in it. I also look so pale, so pale. It's probably because it's after midnight. So just keep that in mind. So I didn't love the year that I lived in Fort Worth, Texas during the pandemic for a lot of reasons. But as I'm watching this right now and I'm seeing clips of my view from that apartment and everything, I am kind of missing it. Like there's just a little pang of like, almost like I want to be able to tell this girl that like it gets better and everything's going to be okay. But I do remember how quiet that apartment was and I really appreciated that. I got almost all of my books to fit in this one box and everything fits so nicely. It was definitely a game of Tetris trying to get them in there. And then this is the stack of books. No, 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 no. Um, when I moved, um, when I finally got my stuff on like June 16th, because it took them 16 days to get all my stuff out here, even though they said they could do it on June 1st, um, my books had been reboxed and I was missing five of them. Four of them were Sarah J Mass books and one of the Sarah J Mass books was signed and personalized by Sarah J Mass. And so watching me pack this box right now is giving me anxiety because I still have not repurchased those books, primarily because I'm still upset that they lost and just like didn't put back in a box my signed Sarah J Mass book. Thankfully I had two. So I still have the second one, but it was a signed Throne of Glass copy. And I'm really still very, very mad about that. One nice thing about this apartment that I had back in Texas was that it was a two bedroom. At the time that I was looking when the pandemic was hitting, there were only two apartments available in like sizes that I was open to. And the one bedroom with a garage was more expensive than the two bedroom. So I went the two bedroom and so I had an office for a year and I called it my writing room. And I do have fond memories of my writing room. That was a very lovely space that I got to work on my books in. I have one box down and I move in like four or five days. So <laughs> stress is real. Stress is real. I just got the call. It is T minus less than 24 hours before the stuff in my apartment gets picked up. I'm going to be able to look out and not see flat. And I'm like literally going to either be driving towards the mountains on one side or the other side of Salt Lake City. And Oh my gosh, I'm so close. Like today is Sunday, I move in next Monday, right? Tuesday. I'm like nine days away. I'm nine freaking days away. I'm not gonna have to look at flat anymore like I have for the past five years. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I still get a little bit of that feeling every time I fly back to Salt Lake City now, like from a vacation, and I land and I see the mountains again, and I just remember how absolutely spectacular they are, and I tear up a little bit every time. It was a nice apartment just the wrong location. Also, the walls were so yellow, like so beigey, and I didn't love my furniture in that space because that was the first time that I had ever lived alone and therefore I needed to like buy furniture for. And then I moved into this apartment and I know I still have not done an apartment tour and I will at some point, but every piece of furniture that I bought for my last apartment looks like it was made to be in this apartment, or it looks like it was chosen out to be in this apartment. That's how I feel about it now. And so even though I wasn't in love with it then because it was all very gray and beige, I mean like, you can't really tell, but like it just, it looks 
so good in this space. And it was like everything was coming to this point and this apartment. And I think that that's really cool how that worked out. Now I'm also kind of getting flashbacks to the job that I had when I lived in Fort Worth. And um, gotta say, really happy I'm not working that job anymore. There are reasons that I left. And I'm very happy with my current job and that it let me move out to Salt Lake City because it's remote. And my goal when starting draft four of Project DE was to finish it in like two months. However, it has now been eight days since I started work. Listen, that's not the first time. And I successfully rewrote the beginning, which was one of the parts that I was really excited about reworking for draft four. The beginning that I've had from draft one through three was just not right for the story. And what I ended up adding in draft four totally changed the tone of the beginning of the story. And I'm so much happier with that new beginning that is still the beginning, and I'm very proud of that one. I will no longer be living in Texas, which is very bittersweet, but also very exciting, and I'm very excited for the next chapter. But moving took a lot of time, effort, energy, and thought, and kind of trying to like coordinate moving across the country because that's a big process. But now three days ago, I was able to give my keys back, and I successfully vacated that apartment, and then I flew up to Minnesota to spend some time with my family before moving into my new apartment in less than a week now. When that happens, I will likely take several days off of working on draft four again. And so I know that my two month goal for draft four was probably very ambitious and three months still might be very ambitious, but I want to get a lot done in this project. I want to move quickly through this project, mostly because I I said that then, I am now trying to finish the rest of draft five um, in June and July. So again, nothing has changed. Still set really ambitious goals, but this time I'm gonna hit them and I have accountability partners. If you're watching this video, I'm looking at you. There has also been some, um, I'm gonna call them advancements, even though they're not in moving and kind of realizing how many complications there may or may not be that are gonna pop up, which I'm not following. excited about, but I'm also just kind of trying to I remember seeing that in like a Mark Rober video and I wanted to do it so bad after I saw that video. And then this video unfortunately worked really well with the foreshadowing. But when I get the keys for my new apartment, I might not have my stuff yet. So I'm just really trying to embrace like the liminal space that I'm in. I will have to say that even though I moved out of Minnesota because the winters were awful, the summers are absolutely unbeatable. Today is June 1st and I'm about to go to my brand new apartment and get the keys. However, I don't know when my stuff is showing up so I am bringing an air mattress from my parents' house because I might be camping out in my new apartment for a while. Hmm, foreshadowing. Salt Lake City, baby. I'm in my new apartment. I just got the keys and had everything signed, but look at this. and the construction noises in the background. Construction noise. That, those, yes, please. Just about to sit down and have my first dinner in my brand new apartment. That's the view, and this is the empty apartment. That is so weird to see it empty. I mean, it hasn't been empty in, well, I guess under a year, because I still have like 14 more days until June 16th. I have such fond memories of the first two weeks that I was out here. Yes, I was incredibly stressed out, but I felt so free and so good about my decision. And I just was like so happy that I'd made the decision to move out to Utah because it was something that I had wanted ever since I was little to live in the mountains at some point in time or live near the mountains at some point in time. And so to finally have made that move and then I believe I went and watched the sunset that night and it was just such a magical feeling, like such a magical feeling, even though I felt like I had nothing. It was just me and one suitcase and an air mattress and an empty apartment and like two pillows on the floor in my living room as like my couch. I felt so free because I had my car after a couple of days. And so I had the ability to be where I wanted to be because I was finally out here and it didn't matter that none of my stuff was here yet. So on June 1st, I ended up moving into my brand new apartment and by moving I mean moving myself in and my one suitcase and then my one suitcase with essentially an air mattress sheets blankets all that fun stuff in it so myself and two suitcases none of my stuff is actually here yet um and I still don't know when it's going to arrive but didn't write anything today and that is totally 
totally okay. However, I am hoping that tomorrow I'm going to start trying to come up with a semblance of my new routine for this place. However, that might be kind of hard. Still don't have one. Or at least not one that's like set in stone or like one that's like super consistent because I'm still struggling with writing the best at night, but also having a very active social life at night that doesn't leave very many open nights to be creative. Tonight it did, which was awesome. And normally that's not really the case, which I'm not complaining about. I really enjoy my social life out here. I'm just still learning to cope. Well, another day, another adventure. I'm currently sitting out on my balcony on the concrete because I still don't have my bench or anything because I got here yesterday, but I still don't know when my stuff is going to get here. But I walked and got a green juice this morning again because I can't cook because I don't have any dishes right now. But I am sitting outside enjoying this view. I still love that view every morning. Every morning when I get to open my blinds, I say good morning to the mountains. Hot tub and pool, by the way, took a year to open. I think the hot tub took like nine months after this was filmed, which it looked like they were almost done. It took the hot tub nine more months to open and then the pool opened like two weeks ago. It's a nice view. This is why I moved out here. It's fun to rewatch this and just see that I was acknowledging that I was stressed out because I didn't have any stuff, but I was also just enjoying it. Things were much simpler <laughs> when my apartment was completely empty and all I've had was my priorities, which are writing, hiking, and I had my job. And so it was honestly very, it was a very simple life. Well, that was fun to rewatch. Thanks for rewatching it with me. I'm sure I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, I actually haven't gone to bed yet, shocking. I ended up rewatching a couple of my adventure writing vlogs because somebody in my life was like, oh, I've never seen any of your YouTube videos. And so I was like looking for examples to send her, but I was like looking for ones that I'm proud of. And I have just watched a couple, just like three or four over the last year. And it's reminding me why I have this YouTube channel. And that's literally to remind myself of things like this and how far I've come in the past year, as well as how much I've accomplished, but also just some of the cool things things that I've done and kind of like how happy I am out here in Utah. And so one of the ones that I watched was Brainstorming New Book Ideas by a Mountain Lake, which is like a chatty writing vlog, which format I actually like absolutely adored because I basically just like went on a hike and then was just kind of like talking to myself and filming it as I was like brainstorming new book ideas. And I loved that one. And now I'm rewatching the vlog from my birthday weekend where I had my birthday weekend and I finished the reread of draft four all within a couple days of each other. And these are just so fun to look back on. I do have a playlist called My Favorite Videos that I'll link here just because when I make videos, sometimes I will have one that just like resonates really strongly or that I'm like really, really proud of. So I'll just like throw it in that playlist just because they're ones that like, I know that I will want to go back and rewatch at some point in time, like I'm doing right now. All right, now I'll see you guys tomorrow. Today is June 7th. I don't think I've talked to you guys since June 2nd or 3rd. So I'm gonna catch you guys up in just a minute. But I just got back from a 6.7 mile hike with about a 1,060 feet of elevation gain, which is great. I am now needing to make dinner and shower, but then I'm gonna catch you guys up. Okay, well, now it's uh, June 8th. I believe. Yeah, it's June 8th. So yesterday I fully had the intention of doing some editing and then some stuff popped up that kind of blocked me from doing that. And I mean like emotionally, not physically, but that basically means that I have not written since June 2nd. So of my six month goals, I wrote June 1st, June 2nd, and then didn't write for the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, and now today's the 8th. I also kind of took a break from working out because other things were happening and I need to figure out how I want to balance weekends with my goals because that's kind of when things got tricky for me was when the weekend hit and things got a little challenging because my weekend is technically like Thursday afternoon and Friday, but then all my friends have Saturday and Sunday off. 
And that's kind of what was happening is just a weird timing of things. And so now I'm trying to figure out how to approach that with this upcoming weekend because today is Wednesday. However, I do have a pretty big Fiverr order I'll need to take care of within the next couple days, as well as doing some writing. I really enjoyed my hike yesterday. That was awesome. I am going for another hike today, which is gonna be great. But between my Fiverr order, getting outside, finishing my work for the week and doing writing, it just kind of feels overwhelming in complete honesty. But it also probably feels overwhelming because I didn't do pretty much anything for like three or four days. So I just have a lot that's piled up that I want to do and like need to just get taken care of. And that honestly feels really overwhelming and that's kind of been holding me back from actually doing those things. So that's kind of the update. I am currently finishing up some work right now and then hopefully we'll talk in a little bit. So it's the end of June 9th. It's currently like 3.13 in the morning. Today's a Thursday. I ended up spending a lot of time with my friends. My allergies are acting up so bad and I just wanna itch my eyes. But I didn't write today and I don't think I wrote yesterday and I didn't work out today, which means that that's like far more days than I want to go without writing or hiking or working out. The hiking one is fine because I went hiking the last two days and my knee has kind of been bothering me, but like I haven't written in like seven days and I don't know what to do about that. I am working on like a really big fiber or Order right now though and I need to finish that and that will probably need to be done tomorrow so I will be dedicating a lot of time to that tomorrow and tomorrow's my day off which means I don't know if I'm gonna have time to write tomorrow maybe I'll just try to do like a paragraph or something just so that I'm making progress but like I don't even want to do like a paragraph tonight because again it's like 318 so <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon, I hope. Also, the other dilemma is that Peaky Blinders season six drops on Netflix um, for me tomorrow slash today because it's after midnight on, so technically June 10th and Peaky Blinders drops today and I wanna watch that. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm a little embarrassed to say what day it is today, but today is June 12th. Um, so let's, let's talk a little bit about that. I'm looking at my habit tracker here and I have not written in 10 days because I have not written yet today and I haven't written since the second. So interesting start to my six month goals. I have hiked or worked out six of the first 11 days, which is pretty good. It's like fine. I did notice that after some of my hikes that I did on the first and second, my knees were really sore. And so I need to start taking my hiking poles with me when I go hiking for the descent. But basically this is what my habit tracker has been looking like. So as you can see, I have not written in a long time. I did not hike or work out today and it's like 9 51 p.m. I have been very consistent in posting reels, being social, and being outside, which are all great things. But at the same time, I kind of feel like my social life has taken over like me working on my goals. And I just feel like I've been getting very distracted from my goals because of my social life. And this has been really hard because it seems like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are the only days where I have the time to like really focus on accomplishing things. And and then my personal weekend is Thursday, Friday. And then even though I start working again on Saturday, Saturday, Sunday are the weekends that my friends have, or at least my friends that are working right now. But the other problem is that I have several friends that are not working right now for varying reasons. And the issue with that is that I am really close with a couple of the people that are not working right now. And so what that means for me is that they are always available and want to do things. And because I do struggle with FOMO sometimes, I agree to do things with them, even if it's like sitting out by the pool or something, but then sitting out by the pool turns into not just an hour, but from the middle of the afternoon through the evening because they keep wanting to do things. The times that I normally dedicate to writing, or at least dedicated to writing before I moved out to Utah and early on when I was out in Utah are typically the evenings. And yet the evenings are when I'm the most social or have been. And then with a couple of my friends not working, that has kind of slowly started to take over the majority of the day. And the hard thing about this is that when I hang out with them at night, I typically wake up a little bit later. And then when I wake up later, I have fewer hours during the day to do things, including my job and including YouTube and including writing and Fiverr and just work working on things that I want to work on and like even just like watching TV and stuff. It like suddenly is compressed into a much smaller amount of time so I can't accomplish as much. And I'm not trying to explain, I'm just trying to talk you guys through the dilemmas that I've been experiencing because it's really frustrating because I want 
so badly to achieve my goals. And I am starting to realize this again, that I am going to have to start defending some of my time, either during the day or during the week, or I'm going to have to start saying no to social things so that I can actually be working on things that I want to achieve. But the other hard thing is that the weather has been so nice recently. So I wanna be out by the pool. I wanna be hiking. I wanna be outside. And then that too cuts down on productive time and accomplishing things that I want to be accomplishing because I'm outside enjoying the weather. And so this is an interesting time for me to be trying these six month goals and trying to be working towards these six month goals because I'm not really prioritizing them as much as the whole goal says that I should be and as much as I still want to be. And honestly, I'm a little disappointed in myself. And that really sucks because that is a terrible feeling. So I think I need to break that tonight. I have been working on a pretty big fiver order for like the majority of my Sunday today, but I do wanna sit down and write a little bit because I have not written or like edited in too many days. So with that, it is almost 10 o'clock. When it hits 10, we're gonna start editing. I edited for 25 minutes and then I just got done working on the Fiverr project for about another hour. So now it's 11.52. I am feeling really good actually in switching off between writing and working on this Fiverr order. And I think it's just keeping me in a creative headspace, but it's allowing me to like pop projects because one, I'm critiquing for somebody else and one, I'm editing for me. And I think that that's been a really nice like dichotomy this evening. And I didn't realize that that was gonna work so well or I would have been utilizing this over the past several days. But that being said, I have been sitting for a while. So I'm gonna stand up and do my dishes and like listen to some music because it is almost midnight and I do wanna go to bed at a decent time, but I still have to finish this fiber order. So we're just gonna kind of see what happens. I do though get to mark that I wrote today, which was going to feel very good after so many days of not. Nice. I decided to call it tonight. It's now like 2.24 in the morning. I spent a while longer on the fiber order. I will need to finish it up tomorrow morning before it's due. So for my writing tonight, I decided to call it after I had done my 25 minute sprint, mostly because I edited 1,220 words during that time, which after, what is it, like nine days? Yeah, nine days of not editing or doing any kind of book work. I feel pretty solid with that. I'm happy that I just got back into it. That's all that matters kind of, but I'm happy that I got back into it. And I am hoping that today and not being social will hopefully put me in a good headspace moving into this upcoming week because tomorrow is Monday. And so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I know that Tuesday and Wednesday I have plans, but I'm hoping that I am able to really prioritize writing again. And especially because I really just wanna get this book done. Still feel very motivated to do it. I just kind of got overwhelmed with stuff the past like week and a half, which has not been ideal. And so we're gonna try and get back into it because I'm trying to remember that I need to be nice to myself. And the only way that any of this is going to work is if I'm nice to myself. I'm not sure you guys can hear me right now, but I'm currently sitting outside tanning and two people just came out to tour the apartment and their jaws dropped as soon as they saw the view and it kind of just made me realize how used to this view I've become and how much I loved this view when I first came out here. And I know that you can see it a little bit in my glasses, but this is my view right now as I'm tanning by the pool. I get why their jaws dropped. It's just a good reminder of what my reaction was when I first saw this place and why I wanted to come to Utah in the first place. After finishing up a fiber order this afternoon, so on June 13th, I then went and laid out by the pool and now I'm back up in my apartment. I just got out of a therapy appointment actually. And we talked a little bit about how I have not been defending my time very well recently. And she gave me a couple ways to like practice that moving forward. And also sorry that my apple is like in the way, but my therapist gave me some very good suggestions on how to try to go ahead and defend some of that time better so that I can continue working on the things that are really important to me and that I can continue emphasizing my alone time. Because as an introvert, the fact that yesterday was the first day at at least on my habit tracker that I had not been around people and like been social in 11 days is insane. Like I definitely need like at least two nights a week that I like don't hang out with people. And that's just like something that I need like for myself and like accomplishing the things that I want to accomplish and like defending my time. So I think that this appointment very much lined up very healthfully with what I needed to hear. And I think that that was a very 
productive conversation to have. So with that, I need to make some dinner and then I need to get working on some more things today. And I think I need to wrap up a little bit of stuff for work. It's still June 13th. It is currently 11.25 p.m. I have not started writing yet tonight. I am going to do something quick and then make a snack and then start writing. But I just finished working on the YouTube video that I have going up tomorrow morning. And so that is currently uploading. I will need to write the description and the title and everything and make the thumbnail as soon as that goes up. But I'm assuming that I will do that after I get my writing in. But last night I did make a note with two saved Instagram reel videos that I wanted to share with you guys because I really liked them last night. If if this old phone can catch up so I can watch them at the same time that I'm recording on my new phone. The fact that you aren't where you want to be should be enough motivation. Again, in talking about my issues with like not being able to fully separate my social life and my creative life and giving too much time to being social and being around people, almost out of a fear of not being around those people, I just thought that this was such a good reminder that the fact that you aren't where you want to be should be enough motivation. It's a lot of motivation for sure. <laughs> I just need to like, you know, tone it in and like really emphasize the fact that this is what I want. I know that it was 11 days, but again, if you don't like catch it before too late, unproductive days quickly become unproductive years if you don't sharpen your focus. And again, I had several conversations today. One of them was with my therapist and one of them was with a friend that I'm not where I wanna be right now. And that's perfectly okay. But I also know how to get to where I wanna be. And so it doesn't make sense that I am procrastinating that and pushing it off and doing things that I know distract me from that goal. And I understand that being social is important. I think that's amazing. And I'm very happy with my social life recently. However, I have let it kind of overtake the time and energy that I have also wanted to put towards creating creative projects. And so that being said, let's make a snack. Let's get into my writing for this evening. I just got to one of my favorite scenes in the whole book and I was on a roll and I just edited for an hour and five minutes. And so I decided to stand up quick because I'm still in the mood to make myself some chamomile tea so that I can keep my writing going. And in addition to my chamomile tea, I'm going to be having these like chocolate almond butter wafers because <laughs> I'm really feeling this. I didn't even want to check my word count after my first sprint. I got one of my favorite mugs and now it's 111. And so I'm going to get back to writing. It is now 151, meaning that I pretty much just wrote for like an hour and 45 minutes straight, which felt amazing. I love this chapter. The words were just flowing. I was editing, I was rewriting, things were going really, really well. And I ended up editing 3,734 words and it felt good. I was a little hesitant when I first reached this chapter because I knew that I needed to change some things, but I loved the original version that I wrote several, several years ago. I actually wrote it for one of my creative writing classes in college. As a part of this book, I just turned in this chapter for one of my classes and I loved the original version. And obviously since rewriting it and like moving stuff around, I haven't reread it yet, but it felt really good as I was writing it. And I do think that I'll probably need to adjust a couple of things just to make sure that every Everything like flows together and makes sense as I've reworded it, but I think it's really solid now. And I think that this will also mean that I get to delete this POV's next chapter because I kind of tackled what some of that stuff was in this one. So it might actually save me some words too, which would be great because I probably just upped the word count by a ton by adding this. But I did 3,734 words and like, again, all in one streak, like other than taking a break to make some tea really quick, which I did have to go reheat because I was too busy writing that my tea cooled off, which 
I think is a win. This does mean that this chapter went from 4,100 words to almost 5,000 words. So I did add about 900 words, which I am perfectly fine with because again, I think this means that I'm gonna get to delete the next chapter from this POV, but that felt really solid, like really, really solid. I also get to mark this chapter, which is chapter 19, done. At least for draft five, obviously. At 49.54, wow. That is impressive. I also didn't want to stop while I was doing that because it felt like something that I needed to just do all in one go so that the pacing was still pretty good and that everything like made sense and that everything was fresh in my brain as I was rewriting it. I feel invigorated. Oh my gosh, it's 1.55 in the morning. This is not a feeling that I should be having right now, but I feel like really good. I feel refreshed. I feel energized. I feel just overall like really good about this project right now and like what this chapter just became. I do have to admit that this is a very encouraging note that I finally have had a couple days now, as in like yesterday and today, where I did writing slash book work, aka my editing right now. So I get to mark that off on my habit tracker, which feels really solid. I did not do any hiking or movement today. I didn't yesterday either. I went dancing on Saturday night and my legs have been so sore since then. And I've kind of just been prioritizing the Fiverr work and writing today and yesterday. And that has felt very, very solid. But now that it is almost 2 a.m. and I feel confident in ending this vlog on this very positive note, I still need to prep my YouTube video for tomorrow morning. But with that, I think that this is going to conclude my first vlog of my my like getting my life together in six months or changing my life in six months or accomplishing my goals in the next six months vlog. And with this energy that I currently have and the conversations that I've been having recently with people about trying to work on reclaiming my time and my energy and focusing it on creative things and things that I want to be accomplishing, I feel really, really good. So I feel confident ending this video here because I know that my next video is going to be much more dedicated to focusing on writing and hiking. Because again, those are my top two priorities. Those are the things that I want to do with my life. Those are the things that are the most pressing for me right now and feel the most important and the most fulfilling. And so therefore I need to chase those things because they make me feel like this, like so good. So I guess with that, I will see you guys in my next writing vlog for more of my writing and hiking prioritization. Thank you guys so much for watching this whole video. I know it was a long one, but I also know that it spanned a lot of different mental places for me in the last 13 days. And I'm just really grateful that you guys watched it this far because that means a ton to me. So thank you so much for doing that because you've made it this far, you clearly enjoyed it. So it would be really nice if you could go ahead and hit that big thumbs up button if you have not already, because it really supports my channel by telling the YouTube algorithm that you liked my video and that someone else might too. Also, if you've made it this far and are not subscribed, you should probably be subscribed, especially over these next six months as I continue chasing my dreams and going after my goals. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Sarah Lebrat, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.